name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate everybody watching, liking, subscribing. Uh, hit the bell and comment below and uh, definitely hit the like if you can. Uh, YouTube's changed their algorithm. Uh, still doing the 100 subscriber giveaway for a cold storage coin, either Bitcoin or Ethereum. And 150 as well for uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum. And at 100, I'll be sending $20 so uh, you guys can uh, load the coin if you want to. Uh, with some uh, cryptocurrency. So moving right into it, uh, 267 billion today. Um, everything seems to be kind of moving sideways. The 24 hour changers here. Cortex is at 4.92. Bitcoin Diamond, Vertasium still up there, uh, which is pretty cool to see. Um, gas, uh, you know, Tether seems to be at the bottom there, obviously between, you know, the green and red. Um, so, you know, everything just seems to be kind of going sideways still. Um, after we had a nice little pump up, you know, of a hundred bucks and we've pretty much lost that hundred bucks today. So, um, you know, if you're looking in at Bitcoin and you can see the elephant walk here, obviously, um, you know, one there, two there and three there. So, you know, you know, I would even consider four maybe, but that's, I would say three just based on price change. Um, you know, with that being said, we have, you know, this big walks down. So, you know, is that, a, um, is that a concern to say, you know, is there three three legs of the elephant already got stepped in? So is he going to start taking his feet out and bringing the, the uh, price down? Or is that just the start of the elephant walk going back up on an uptrend? So we shall see uh, on that. And uh, uh, my next video, I'm going to do a little bit more uh, technical analysis on coins. So uh, everybody can kind of see what I'm talking about a little bit more. Uh, moving forward, uh, Robert T. Kiyosaki. Uh, he was interviewed by this Josh Sigurdsson guy, and uh, I found this on Steemit. And uh, he's talking about the future cryptocurrency and gold and silver. So I just wanted to, you, know, you guys to hear this real quick because um, I thought this was really interesting to hear. So uh, watch this clip real quick, and um, I'll have a comment on it uh, here in a second. You got to see kind of a monetary revolution to change the tides. And uh, I think it seems like something's happening soon. Now we've all been probably, I assume all of us have been hurt uh, significantly in the cryptocurrency markets in recent uh, months. But that's not to say that obviously the blockchain technology of when decentralized has a lot of great potential uh, going forward. Obviously, it's just in its infancy. Um, what do you think about uh, the future of uh, cryptocurrency? Well, in my book, Fake, I wrote today there's three types. There's been different types of money through different times of years, like centuries. Like cattle was one of the original money. That's what it's called collateral, you know, when they that, and they have in kind, which was uh, kinder. You know, that if you, if, you, if you storage your cattle with a um, blender, they got the kinder, in kind. They got the babies. That's called interest today. So it's, you know, it's been going on for a long time. So those three types of money today are, you know, God's money, gold and silver. Then you have government money, which is fiat currency, the dollar, the loony, the yen, the yuan. And then you have people's money, which is crypto. And it's really blockchain. But I, I agree with you, it's just in the infancy right now. And this guy Warren Buffett and his friend Charlie Munger they call it cryptocurrency rat droppings. Well, those are the same guys. I mean, they're smart guys, but they also didn't invest in Amazon or Apple either. And now they're backing, they're, now they're loading up on Amazon and Apple. So they're calling crypto rat droppings. At the same time, Singapore, which is a very sophisticated, you know, well-run island nation, they have uh, Bitcoin bonds and all this stuff. By the so I just did want to touch on that real quick. I mean, you know, it's a good uh, video to watch. You can uh, watch this uh, um, on YouTube as well. I believe it's World something. I mean, Wham is what they call it. Uh, I can't remember what it stands for at the moment. So anyway, uh, this Josh Sigurdsson, he's actually uh, pretty well known in the uh, cryptocurrency uh, news market, you know, as far as um, interviewing people, so on and so forth. So... Robert T. Kiyosaki, if, no, if you don't know about Robert T. Kiyosaki, he's written a lot of books about finance. And uh, one of the first books that, I wrote, uh, that I've read when I was into finance was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And uh, it's a great book. It just kind of shows you, you know, the way you should be thinking about money and the way it should be working for you and not you working for the money. 
So it's just a different mindset in the way he th- he does things. And of course, he does call go- God's money is gold and silver. You know, things with ta- you know, um, it, you know, with is tangible. Uh, it's been around since you know the dawn of man and you know the dawn of Earth. I would say so. Uh, gold and silver and you know platinum and copper and all this stuff all has tangible value to it. Um, and that kind of runs with the uh, cold storage coins that I'm, you know, giving out. You know, these are made out of copper, but they make some out of silver and gold as well. So when you're done with these coins, you can still, you know, use it to sell for gold or silver or copper. So um, it's a great it was a great interview. And uh, I mean, he just really touches on, you know, cryptocurrency as the people's money. So now we have people's money as opposed to government money, which is fiat currency. And they're just going to keep printing it uh, every day. So uh it was a great video just to watch, and I just want to touch on that so everybody um, realizes um, that you do need to diversify a little bit and buy gold and silver, especially you can buy it with cryptocurrency now. So it's a win-win situation uh, in that respect. So moving forward, high-performance blockchain, it's at $1.88. It's kind of at that old-time low. The lowest it has ever been was at $1.79, and now it's at $1.88. Um, and I'm probably going to buy a little bit more just to offset uh, my average purchase price, my DCA. Um, but, you know, I want to get into what high-powered blockchain really is. You know, high-powered blockchain at the moment, I thought they were main it was launching uh, on July 1st, and they actually moved it back a month. And this is the reason why, node application phase. So they want to do a node application phase so you can apply to, to uh, run a node if you want. Um, and, uh, you, move, you know, what high-performance blockchain really does is chip level acceleration engine, okay, public chain based, uh, built on hardware accelerator chip drivers. The, accept, the accelerator chip drivers can then be customized, providing hardware acceleration support for the public chains with performance bottlenecks. Okay, that, I mean, I, I was reading into that and that's actually a very genius way of doing things. And they're using hardware as well, not just software, uh, which is, you know, really good integration, I think. It's not centralized, even just because there's hardware involved. Um, but it depends on how you look at it. Uh, HPBX million million level concurrent algorithm. So they want to do a million TPS, and they can get to that using the hardware acceleration. So you know, moving into this you know uh, team, I mean, I've already talked about this team on other uh, videos um, last month. But Xiao Ming Wang and um, Jin Zing Li are. I mean, these guys are. I mean, just been in it to win it since day one. This guy has written books on cryptocurrency. This guy has. I mean, worked with just. Uh, just all kinds of people in there and has done his own thing in blockchain and, and algorithms and writing uh, programs. And it's crazy. These guys, what they can do communications. It's crazy. And then you go into the advisors and investors. Well, first off, Neo is one of the investors. Uh, this song grew way one um, prize winning team member of a Nobel prize winning team. Okay. Executive president of union pay smart was Kai Long. Uh, union pay, okay? 80% of all online transactions are done by union pay, smart. Okay, uh, cultural fund, founding partner of Jean, um, Jean Moudon. If you don't know about that, it's actually a really good cultural fund and, and he did amazing things with that fund. Uh, and uh, Zen Li, Zen Le, um, CEO of, G- I don't know, Cam- Jiaoan, okay, Coin co-founder and B-Box founder, Bixen CEO, GDEX founder, tra- I mean, this is an all-star team, and it's an all-star project. I can't say enough about it, and I can I can see why the the, um, the price of high-performance blockchain went down because, of course, you know everybody was expecting a mainnet launch, and it didn't happen, um, and so everybody's just waiting at this point again. So I'm going to buy a little bit more uh, high-performance blockchain. So I'm moving into another swing trade, and I'm changing my swing trades around just based because I I'm, I'm picking a profit trailer. Um, and, um, you know, the way the volatility of the market, it's just probably the smartest thing to do as a business owner. So, uh, the key is at, uh, one cent now, finally. So I'm finally, uh, making a, uh, a profit here. Um, a very modest profit, but it's a nice profit. And I think I'm probably, uh, it, you know, um, sold out. I sold out. I sold some of it yesterday. I didn't sell it all. And I'm going to buy a little bit more uh, if I feel like it's not going to go back down a little bit more. So moving forward a little bit, uh, EOS. Okay, the EOS duck. I always talk about the EOS every time I see something good about it. There's always something tenfold bad about it. And this is one of them. Decentralization nightmare. 
Bitmain and Bitfinex become EOS block producers, okay? Not only do they become the block producers, they are the number one and number two largest block producers. So, I mean, can you, can you, can you see any more manipulation with this, okay? Um, Bitmain, okay? Uh, let's look at Bitmain. Chinese manufacturer, uh, I'm sorry, Bitfinex. So Bitfinex being the largest one. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Cryptocurrency exchange Bitfinex accused of affiliations with Tether and manipulating the Bitcoin price is also an EOS block producer. Um, Bitmain is uh, known as manufacturer of ASIC miners. Support of a sufficient number of votes become one of 21 producers who process transactions and govern the EOS in accordance with the constitution of the project. Uh, EOS Ampool, subsidiary of the Ampool mining owned by Bitmain, received the status of the block producer. So, you know, I can only stress it enough that it's a duck, guys, but I'm just going to keep showing you um, news, you know, when I when I see it so you guys can make your own uh, decisions on it. And if you guys have already, um, you know, are into EOS already, uh, I would suggest probably going short on it because I think the long term they're not going to be able to hit the home run on it. So uh, moving forward into NEO, because I mentioned NEO with high power blockchain. OK, 8 percent gains. They're kind of defying. Um, the way uh, crypto dominance right now, I mean, uh, Bitcoin dominance right now. So they're still kind of going up a little bit. They went down, but they're barely 1% down right now at the moment. So uh, they are, are doing, uh, they're not going to be doing voting, excuse me, voting until next year. Okay. And with NEO, they're kind of, man, kind of having pot, kind of an EOS Thing going on here that I have to keep watch of. Um, so hopefully um, I can make money on this in the short term too, but I'm going to keep watch of it. So the first things first, uh, City of Zion, the first organization City of Zion began operating a mainnet node in tandem with the announcement. Okay. Um, so, and that's the announcement uh, on July 4th, declaring that the Chinese Ethereum has entered what developers have called the era of decentralization. Those decentralization, quote unquote, seems as is a sliding scale. So the reason why is um, the critics have understandably raised questions about how a network can be called decentralized if a single entity continues to select its consensus nodes. So the city of Zion has um, proposed the future candidates should be approved by current nodes. So they want to be proposed, they want to be approved by the current ones now before they're allowed to be a, a voted in as a consensus node. So do you call that centralization? I absolutely, I absolutely do. So if you're going to not let any, everybody vote on a consensus node, it's got to go through you first. You're centralized. It's simple as that. Is it a big deal? I'm going to look into that a little bit more as far as who city, who city of Zion is and what their you know uh, stake is with uh, neo is but you know i want to go short with neo if, if this stuff with uh, proof of stake keeps going on I, i'm not really impressed with proof of stake at the moment you know even with neo and gas and so on and so forth i'm not really impressed with it too much you know i'm a miner and proof of work and you know proof of stake just means you have to hold you know uh coins well i don't want i want to trade coins i don't want to hold them i want to trade them i want to make money on these things and the gas that i'm producing with the neo it's okay, but it's not, you know, it's not anything to uh, write to mama about, you know what I mean? Proof of work, I, I can write home to mama about that. So last but not least, Crypto Fear and Greed Index, 37. Yesterday, 33 on 4th of July, last week, 16. So really good to see that we're on that up and up. We're right there, kind of, I don't know if we're going to double peak on our, uh, on our fear and greed here. But we shall see what the morality of the market. So my name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below, and you guys have a great day. Keep up the grind.